ways of uh, isolating the curves of a geometry to um, to create different forms based on just the lines right so the first way that I'll show you I'm gonna demonstrate with a box before we do the skull just so you get an idea so we have a simple box we're gonna turn the box into a polygon and we're gonna use a carve so the carve is a really quick way of just simply doing this so it's really cool to make quick animations of just lines okay if we apply this to the skull I'm gonna increase the size of the skull to maybe like an 80 and apply this and you will see that we get the same result if I apply a null underneath it we'll be able to visualize it like this so this way the geometry basically grows the lines and they create the skull so this is a a cool fast and simple way of doing it of doing this kind of animation or work now what about let me show you a different solution to this the next solution we're gonna use a a scatter we're going to connect the scatter and then we have this point right and now what we want to do is we're gonna use a connect adjacent pieces when we connect the adjacent pieces we want to change this to adjacent points and then we get this which is also very cool um, and it's based on the point radius so the less we decrease it that means that um, the search radius is less but if we increase the search radius then it's going to be able to make more connections between the points that we've got so that is cool because it basically kind of creates this beautiful way of looking like a, maybe a web we'll make it look more like a web in a second but as you can see right now it's super uniform because all of the points are uniform so one way is if we come down here and we reduce the scale by radii then we're gonna get something much more random like that the more points that you add the more detail your model will be okay so now let's say that we want to take this to another level we have our points and we're gonna paste them paste it here and now what we want to do is increase the amount of points and then I'm gonna use an attribute Bob inside of Bob's we want to um use a turbulence and we are going to connect the position and export it as our color so as you can see we are getting a noise applied that we're gonna have to increase the frequency in order to see it properly let me increase the amount of points Let me see if I make it like a 50, it might be more. We want it to be, okay, a sparse convolution is giving me what I want. So I changed the noise type to a sparse convolution and now I can control the order of the points there. So if we were to apply the noise here we're still gonna get points here because they're not gone they're just black so what I want to do is extract the red value so if we come here into our um, after our noise we're gonna use a let me see this is a float a float to a vector Okay, and the flow to a vector is giving me the RGB color value. So if I plug it into the first one, it's applying the noise to the red channel only. Now what I want to do is right click 
and create input parameters. Now, this is gonna allow me to see noise pattern out here and control it out here. Now, the next step is grouping these points so that we can delete them. So we're gonna use a group expression and then inside of our group, we wanna say we want this to be a group and we want the expression to be at cd.r, which is a red channel, less than 0.1. That means that it's grouping all of those red points. Okay, and then we're gonna delete them. We're gonna use delete, a point deletion, and we wanna delete group one, which is our group, ex actually our group expression, and we're gonna say delete non-selected. So now, if we come here to a point, we see that the black doesn't exist. We've got rid of them. So if we apply this connect adjacent pieces to this, then we're gonna get something that looks like that, which is something that you can drive with noise. And it's just much more random and the, and it just looks really fun. Okay, so the next step that we're gonna we're gonna do here is copy this, paste it to the side, and then we're gonna work with a couple of less points. So I'm gonna reduce the amount of points to something like that. And the cool thing is that it, it updates our entire system because it's all procedural. Um, let's see. Okay, so now what I want to do is once we once we're here, I'm gonna isolate just a portion of our lines to demonstrate what I wanted to show you. So we'll do us a delete based on a sphere, reduce the size, and just place it up here. Connect this, and we'll delete non-selected just so that we're working with a small piece I'm just gonna do a file cache cache this temporarily to my desktop save and then load that from disk and then what I will do is uh, polywire And make it a point zero one .05. So we can even go less zero two. So now we've got this sort of web. And then what I'll do is increase our segments to say four and VDB from polygons. Zero one. Let me see. Uh, let's do five. Zero zero one, maybe, and then convert BDB to a polygon. Now, when I start to reduce this to say like a five or something, we're gonna get this very organic sort of structure. Which is something that isn't super easy to get on other software packages. And we can push this even further by doing a BDB smooth SDF. And then cranking our resolution
Now, so what I'm gonna do to optimize it is just clip the front. So we're dealing with probably just like half the amount. And if we look at it from the front, it's still gonna look pretty cool. Run this through the VVs. Let's see what we get. Smooth it. Then convert it and then as you can see you start to get some very interesting organic patterns and you can even bring it back merge it with your original skull and get some really awesome results like that which can be animated to grow organically. Or simply leave it as like that. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll be back with more. Thank <laughs> you.